Welcome to this video on the brain. Take a look at the key words we'll use in this video. There are lots of parts of the brain, all responsible for different functions. The main bulk of the brain is made up by the cerebrum, which is divided into two identical hemispheres. We have the cerebellum at the back, which controls all of our motor skills, such as walking and talking. The medulla oblongata controls unconscious processes, such as breathing. The brain is very hard to access, being protected by the skull and being very easily damaged so we can't just cut into it. Instead, we have to use different types of scans to look at it. CT scans are used to show the shapes and structures in the brain. An X-ray beam passes around the head and detectors measure how much is absorbed by the brain, and that information is then used to build up images of the brain. PET scans are used to measure brain activity. The brain is injected with radioactive glucose, which is then taken in for respiration. More active cells take in more glucose as they need to respire more. This radioactive glucose causes gamma rays, which are then detected by a scanner. The brain is such an important part of the body, so if it is damaged, it needs immediate treatment. Tumours can squash parts of the brain, making them stop working. This can be really dangerous, so the tumour either needs to be cut out or killed with radiotherapy or chemotherapy. If the spinal cord is damaged, then the flow of information between the brain and body will stop. The higher up the damage, the harder to fix, and the less information that can pass through. Fixing damage in the spinal cord is very hard, as no adult stem cells can form spinal cord neurons, so we have to use wires to stimulate the impulse instead. The brain also has a reflex arc to stop the body from coming to harm. If the receptors on your body notice something dangerous, for example your skin touching a flame, instead of being directly sent to the brain, the impulse curves round in an arc and goes straight to the muscle to make the body pull away to stop it coming to harm. This reflex arc means there is no brain involvement, so it's an unconscious process, meaning it is much quicker than having to think about the response.